So if your home's your castle, what happens when the power goes out? You know, you want to make sure you're thinking of all these different scenarios. You know, it could be winter time, it could be the middle of the summer, but you're going to want to, again, protect your core body temperature as much as out in the wilderness as you are in home. So let's say the power does go out, it's winter time. What kind of systems do you have to keep yourself warm? Do you have a fireplace? Do you have the right tools to chop for firewood, whether it's inside or outside, for cooking, to keep you warm? Have a good ax, you know, a good saw. Maybe you have a chainsaw, you know, a mallet, a maul, things to pry and split wood with, you know, good old machete. Stuff to make sure you can get the fuel, you know, chopping down the trees in your yard or whatever. If you're in an apartment, it's gonna be a little different situation. Uh, you know, blankets are key, nice wooby. Wool blankets are amazing. They keep your, they'll keep you very warm for a long time. Uh, you know, if you're out in your backyard and you're gonna make a fire pit, you know, you're gonna need a shovel to, you know, dig that hole so you can control where your fire is at. You know, if you're outside, just getting around the fire to stay warm or use it for cooking. Now back here, I've got a buddy heater, you know, on a propane tank. It's a good system to kind of warm yourself if you don't have a fireplace. You know, don't wait for an emergency situation to hit you. Remember, I always say, let your actions dictate the situation. Don't let the situation dictate your actions. Planning, being prepared, that means you thought of this ahead of time. You can have a pile of firewood stacked very nicely. Make sure you put a tarp over it so it's not getting wet. So when you need it most, it's ready to go. You can stack piles of firewood outside. Now, of course, if you're in an apartment, that's not going to be the case. But if you're in a, in, in a home and definitely in a rural area like on the farmhouse, you're going to have that option. Uh, I like those portable fireplaces, you know, those fire pits. They're great. You can even bring those inside, you know, put your uh, firewood in there and you have a heating system that, you know, it, it keeps everything safe. You know, be smart, be, you don't want to burn your house down, so be very smart about these things. Think about ventilation, those kinds of things. When it comes to trying to keep you and your loved ones warm or protected, now in the summer, whew, it could get quite hot. What are you doing to try to, uh, you know, flow oxygen, flow air through your home? Windows open, can you open them? You know, you want to have screens up to keep insects out. You don't want anybody getting sick from, from bugs and, and, and things like that biting you. So uh, the summer situation, I think it's a little bit easier at times to heat yourself up, to heat yourself warm in the winter than it is to cool down in the summer. Uh, other possible uh, options is, you know, what if something does happen to your home? Do you have a, a backup option, like a tent or something to set up? Uh, sleeping bags, bivy sacks, things to keep yourself warm. You know, clothing is your first layer of shelter. What is the type of clothing you're wearing? Layers, gear, you know, those things uh, that you can do to just, you're just trying to protect core body temperature, whether you're out in the wilderness or you're in your home. Regulating your body heat, regulating uh, how to cool that core temperature down, all these things are super important. Anything as simple as like in the summer, if you're in here, you know, remember I showed you the shemag. If you soak that thing down, get it full of water, and you wrap it around yourself, keeping that against your skin, uh, just a damp cloth, will cool your body temperature down by a few degrees. So what I'm talking about here in shelter is all those other things you don't think about, you need to think about how, how you're gonna keep yourself uh, in your home, keep yourself warm, keep yourself cooled down, and you really wanna make sure you have a good plan for that.